You may have arrived here from a link from my main video about the old Wickham Sports Centre plant room, built in 1975, demolished 2016. Here I will go into more detail about how something works. This video tells you more about the CHP unit and how it works. It's not a long video, but my main aim is that you hopefully will learn something new in under two minutes. To see the main plant room video, click the cards that appear above or check the video description. One of these units holds about 2000 litres. These are similar to the hot water tank that you may still have in your airing cupboard in your house. The hot water vessels in this plant room are the same, except they are mounted sideways as they are too tall to mount vertically. Doing so would mean they would stick out of the bowls hall above, creating an unwelcome obstacle to play around. The vessel has a coil going through it, containing a separate water supply, which is pumped in a circle via a boiler. The water inside the coil transfers its heat to the water inside the vessel. This is also known as a heat exchanger. If the vessel is cold, this will take most of the heat out of the water inside the heat exchanger, but this is reheated before it returns. So what is heating up the water inside the heat exchanger? This is where the CHP combined heat and power unit comes in. At one end is an engine that is fueled by gas. The engine turns the generator and provides electricity for the building. The hot gases go out through an exhaust. The water for the heat exchanger is heated in two locations. One as it passes through the engine's exhaust gas chamber and two the hot rotating engine. So now we have a vessel that's full of hot water. This is pumped around the flow and return water lines via more pumps to showers and other systems requiring hot water. The swimming pool water flows around a different circuit and does not need to be stored in vessels like this.